Alright, today is all about building that router table, as well as making the workbench mobile. Thank you for checking out part two of this video series. If you haven't seen part one yet, I suggest you check that out first. Let's get on with it. So while the tabletop glue is drying, it's a good time to reinforce the frame. You want to make sure all of those 2x4s are doubled. This router plate fits the Bosch router that I have. I'll link it below. Uh, this is a really simple process, just trace the router plate and then you want to set your router to the just at the depth of the router plate. And then take a deep breath because it's time to tear into that brand new tabletop. It's all part of the plan. Okay, now you gotta cut out the hole on the inside. You're gonna need a pencil, a claw hammer, maybe some calipers but mostly a spade bit and a jigsaw. And I'd love it if you subscribe, if you hit the bell for notifications, but even if you don't want to do any of that, please just hit that like button so YouTube shows this to more people. I really appreciate it. And now it's time to put on the casters. I'll link these below as well. They're small, and I uh, had my doubts at first about uh, how small the wheels were, but they've been so great. And I'm not the world's most stout dude, and I've been able to haul around this heavy workbench no problem. And they just pop right up, and away you go. This video's sequel and the penultimate in the series will feature the Miter Station. And across from that is where the clamping station is going to go. My favorite. And then with the final video, we're going to put on the protective coating, install the T-tracks, build the router fence, and a few other things. Thank you folks for watching all the way to the end of this video. There are plans to the bench in PDF form in the description below. I'll see you in part 2.5.